Welcome back everybody, this is Marina. Today we're going to look at the sexual narcissist and three games that they play to smear your name. When you're with the sexual narcissist, if you are an empath, then chances are that you unfortunately are going to behave in ways similar to them or possibly in ways that are not your best self. And the reason for this is because empaths are like emotional sponges. So we end up absorbing the emotional energy of other people. Now, where we get ourselves into strife is that we haven't been educated or taught how to not absorb that energy as our own because we actually believe it is our own. So for example, the sexual narcissist comes uh, to your place and you're sitting next to them and you start to maybe ask a few questions and they start withholding some uh, information. You are now absorbing their lies. Not only that, you can feel their passive aggressive uh, uh, energy. You can then have an outburst. Now, the games continue because if you have an outburst with them on the phone because they've been behaving in ways that are not uh, desirable and they've been cruel to you and they're seeing other people, they will record the conversation. They will then share that with others. Look, she's crazy, she's crazy. Now, if you managed to uh, catch the sexual narcissist out, for instance, maybe he was uh, writing letters to another woman. Now, just say if you actually take possibly some images of that, or you've got copies of that. What they then do when you're texting and uh, in anger and everything else, they will then forward those messages on to other people, but they change them. Because as we know, when you forward a text message on, you can actually change the content. So this is why we say, stay away from these people. These people do one thing, they bring us a lot of harm. As empaths, we are not designed to absorb the energy of others and then act it out as our own. We need our light energy. We have come here so that we can shine our light. Now, before we can do that, we have to obviously do our shadow work. And that is a really gruesome journey for uh, anyone who has been on that journey, in particular, if we've had to activate our feminine energy. We have to move through a lot of darkness that we've absorbed over many, 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 many years. And so therefore, being in a relationship with a sexual narcissist who only wants to dupe you and want to be more powerful than you because empaths can often make a narcissist feel inadequate, feel that they are less powerful than the empath. So then their job is to become better than you, smarter than you, let them win. They see relationships as games. So if they, you know, break up with you or you break up with them, their job is to go and get, you know, the first next relationship first. And they'll change partners as fast and quick as possible. They usually end up with low grade supply. And, you know, the person that they end up with, unfortunately, may match them in some ways. All right, look, that's all for now. And if I can help you in any way, please reach out. Bye.